factor by grouping it is always tricky we have two examples here and now let us see how to factor by grouping so whenever you have four terms like we have in this particular example which is 1 plus a b plus a plus b possibility to factor is by grouping let us understand how to group so what we can do here is we can rearrange them a bit so I'll write 1 plus let us say b and then we have a b plus a now so we have 1 plus b and from a b and a we can have a common factor of a so we get a b plus 1 now as you can see we have b plus 1 here also so these two can be treated as one term and then the other term is a times b plus 1 now if you consider these as two different terms then b plus 1 is common right so we can write b plus 1 as a common term leading to 1 plus b with a coefficient of 1 and here we have a so we get 1 plus a so we can write our result as either you can write 1 plus b times 1 plus a or b plus 1 times a plus 1 either way so anyway even that was correct so that is how we can factor this polynomial now let us try to factor the part b which is 1 minus 1 plus y whole square plus y so the first step is rearrange let's rearrange we get 1 plus y and the second term will treat as minus 1 plus y whole square so we're treating this as one term right now i think it becomes more clear right now 1 plus y as you can see is common so we'll take 1 plus y as a common just as we took here right we're left with 1 from here and this gives you minus 1 plus y whole square we have factored 1 plus y we're left with 1 plus y you should write them in brackets now let's open this bracket so what do we get 1 plus y times 1 minus 1 is 0 and minus 1 times plus y is minus y correct so we get minus y times 1 plus y as our answer so that is the solution for this polynomial. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.